When I was four years old, my, uh, my parents and me, we moved to a, to a brand new city and moving to that brand new city, um, we started going to, to church. Um, and so from that age, I started learning about the Bible and, and about God and, uh, and about what these things, these things were that my, that my parents had always talked about. Um, but just because you do these things, that doesn't automatically make you a Christian. Becoming a Christian is a decision that you have to make yourself. And I remember when I was seven years old one night, I, I woke up and I just had a nightmare. And my nan came rushing in the room, she was like, Jacob, Jacob, what's up, what's wrong? And um, she sat me down, she calmed me down. And, and I remember praying a prayer with her and asking God to become a part of, of my life. And, and I got that God was real and I, and I got that, that Jesus loved me and I got that he created the world but I never really got what it, what it meant to me. So when I, was, when I was 13 or 14 and I was now old enough to choose whether or not I wanted to go to church, I, st I still turn up sometimes, you know, on, on a Sunday morning, like, you know, like everything's okay, like, like I'm, a, I'm a good Christian boy, but I, I never really got what it, what it had to do with me. So I started living life for myself. I started skipping school, I didn't care about my grades. I started drinking, I started, I started smoking, I started, I was fickle with, with girlfriends messing around. You know, anything that would give me this momentary high. But that was the thing. It was just a moment. Once all the fun and games were over, once everyone had, had gone home, there was still me left answering this question that started creeping up in the back of my mind of, is there more to life than this? And I lived like this for, for a few years from the, the age of like 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And it took until like probably the summer of when I was 17 years old. And I remember opening up the Bible and, and I came across something that, that Jesus said, I have come to give life so that you may have life to the full. Not, not half life, not just a bit of life, not just somewhere you go on a Sunday, not just that book that you read, not just this empty promise that, that the thing you say before you, you eat your dinner or this, this, this prayer you say before you go to sleep, but real life and life to the full. And suddenly I got it and I was like, wait, I don't want to live this half anymore. I want to step into this in full. And that's when I truly decided instead of, of turning my back on, on him, I decided to turn my back on all the things that actually separated me from him and step into life and life to the full like he had promised me.